The openness, security, and stability of the Internet are principal importance to all of us who use the Internet around the world, and yet it is the United States' historic stewardship uh, and, and its role over key Internet management functions that helps to ensure this openness, security, and stability. Today, this administration intends to end this role, not for technical considerations, but for political reasons. This is happening despite the fact that the number of significant questions related to transition remain unanswered, including whether the transition will yield an unconstitutional transfer of United States government property, how the transfer will affect human rights, and free speech issues if U.S. controlled top-level domains such as .gov and .mail could be compromised or if the Internet Corporation uh, for assigned names and numbers will be subject to increased antitrust scrutiny. Here at the committee, we've continued to engage with the administration about this transition and to date, Answers we've received have been very inadequate. It's clear that the administration hasn't conducted a thorough legal analysis of many issues outstanding. In ICANN, we see an organization that was blasted just this past July by an independent review panel for its inability to carry out basic duties of self-governance. The review panel found that ICANN Board Governance Committee has, quote, failed several transparency obligations, engaged in cavalier treatment of constituent requests, and failed to undertake an examination of whether ICANN staff or contractors complied with their obligations under the articles and the bylaws of incorporation. These failures then raise serious concerns about the ability of ICANN to exercise proper corporate oversight and call into question ICANN's organizational maturity. These types of governance problems make ICANN susceptible to corporate cor corruption and abuse and call for the extension of ICANN's contract and the United States continued oversight and involvements. Such concerns, especially when it comes to accountability and transparency, are reasons why I have always questioned if the transfer is in the best interest of the American people and global Internet users. Despite the administration's intention to give up IANA functions uh, contract, these concerns still persist, indicating that this course is misguided and at best prematured. So I appreciate, Senator Cruz, your taking the leadership during this hearing and look forward to what the witnesses have to testify about.